Now that we've checked our parts list and we're sure we have all the parts we need, the next step is to sand our rocket, all the components, from the nose cone to the payload compartment, body tubes, fins, even the motor mounts. It's important to sand because it helps the glue adhere to the different parts and it also helps with painting down the road. Let's get started with our sanding. Shine. There's a sheen to the rocket that you need to remove. It doesn't take a lot of sanding to take that sheen off and you need to be very, very careful not to gouge the rocket. So when you're sanding, be sure to use gentle hands, nice and easy. Let the sandpaper do the work. Now notice that as I'm sanding, I'm not gouging the surface. I'm being nice and gentle. I'm really letting the sandpaper do the work. Um, if you start gouging the, uh, the paper, uh, it's really, really difficult to, uh, to mend that. So be sure just go nice and easy. Sand. Take any, uh, any shine off. And really, the feel of the rocket is what you're going for. Feel it shouldn't be quite as, quite as uh, smooth as it was. I can feel that there's a spot up here on this. Sand a little bit. Once again, what this will help do uh, in the future is it will help the, uh, the, the primer and the paint go on the rocket. So far, I've sanded the airframe or the body tube. Um, that's the main structure, the main body of the rocket. You can see these slots where the fins will slide in here later. And uh, if we don't get the tape off, we don't get the, uh, the adhesive off from the tape, then when we go to paint these, they're going to look uh, uneven and bumpy. Uh, so it is important to sand these. And we'll talk about the uh, when you, we sand the fins, the aerodynamic edges. We really don't want these flat edges right here. Um, as the rocket goes up, these flat edges are going to uh, cause drag and uh, slow our rocket down. Similar to if you're in a car and you've had your hand just kind of out the window, drifting along, drifting along, um, in a nice narrow dynamic. If you take your hand and turn it up, then the wind pushes your hand back um, because it has more drag, more surface area. So we want to reduce the surface area on this edge as much as we possibly can. Once again, these slots are for the fins. They slide right in here. And it's good to test fit these and you can see how that will eventually go together. So uh, let's sand uh, the nose cone. And it's very important to see, make sure the nose cone fits easily into the payload compartment. Once again, our payload compartment is the smaller white tube. And eventually, we're going to put our bulkhead in the bottom. And that'll make the compartment. And this is where the egg will be stored. Um, so we have our bulkhead in the bottom with an eye bolt coming out. And the nose cone, the nose cone will fit right into here. So. This seems to fit pretty well, but I am just going to use our 220 sandpaper just to knock some of the, uh, the sheen off, rough the surface up just a touch, and see if I can't get this, uh, this line knocked off the uh, nose. Cone. Coming out very nicely, this, uh, the edge is, is wearing off, and uh, these markings in the center are coming down. You can see I'm not gouging it at all, so this is coming along really well. So we use the coupler, and it couples these tubes together. And we'll talk about placement of the coupler later on. But you can see the diameter of the coupler is slightly smaller. And when you put one end of the coupler in the payload compartment, and the other end slides into the, uh, the airframe, now these tubes slide together. Just lightly sand this just so the glue adheres to it uh, when we work on putting it in to our payload compartment when we install it. And we'll do our measurements and things in just a little bit. It slides right in here. And when the rocket launches, the thrust comes out the bottom, forcing the rocket, the entire rocket up because this tube along with the fins, the fins will actually be attached to this inside the rocket. So the way it works is this, will be in here with some rings, centering rings. There this, and then these fins will slide in here and they'll be glued, be glued to the motor mount. And this is what takes all that force, all that torque as the rocket's moving upward to that thrust. This is what holds everything in place along with our centering rings. So it's very important that uh, when we assemble the motor mount, we do a really nice job with our gluing and our sanding. So let me get started with the sanding. This will only take this will only take a minute. Uh, 
I just rough this up, knock some of the sheen off of it, and tell by the feel that it's uh, it's ready to go. So I've done my payload compartment. Motor mount. We have our airframe or body tube. Our nose cone. And now for our coupler. And once again, the coupler attaches the payload compartment. Allows the payload compartment and the airframe to fit together. Still like sanding being mindful not to over sand, not to dig it up, not to fold the edges. Okay, and this should still be snug, but still be able to get right in there. Sometimes I turn it, there we go. We'll do review, uh, we've, we've done most of our sanding. For our body tubes, we have our airframe, which is our main body tube. We sanded the coupler. This is our payload compartment, which the coupler, coupler will slide into. It's our motor mount, all sanded, and our nose cone. So I think now uh, we've taken care of all the, the paper uh, components of our rocket. Uh, next step is to sand the wood components, uh, primarily the fins. I'm gonna be using some heavier sandpaper on these edges so they'll knock down a, a little uh, more quickly. I'm going to try to sand it so the edge, so that right there, so the edge is tapered and comes to a, a fairly steep angle. Um, I'm gonna be focusing on this edge and this edge. These will be a very steep angle. I'm not touching these edges. We want these edges to be flat. So don't sand these edges. We'll focus on these edges. Here. That's the angle I want my fins. And you can see it takes it down very quickly. So I'm just going to turn this. This is a little thing, but it will make a big difference. Um, you'd be amazed at some of the rockets you see where teams don't pay attention to detail, and these edges are just left square, and it will, will make a difference. So you can see this one is square and flat. This one is tapered. This will be much more aerodynamic. Our goal, once again, is to make our rocket as aerodynamic as we possibly can. Um, so sanding this and roughing it up a little bit will allow it to take paint a little easier when we get to the painting stage. So our edges are looking good. Um, let's rough this up just a touch with our, our gentler of the two sandpapers. So I'll use the 220 here. Uh, once again, I can't stress this enough, we're not touching these edges, okay? We can touch the flat surfaces, but we do not want to round the edges, the tab that feeds into the air, uh, main airframe or body tube. Uh, so I'm going to start sanding again, and I'll be back in a few minutes. You can see the grain running through these fins. Sand with the grain. What I mean by that is if the grain's going up and down, sand up and down, moving up and down along the grain. If you uh, sand across the grain, that can actually uh, rough this up quite a bit. But by sanding with the grain, we use the 80 grit sandpaper on our edges, followed by our 220 sandpaper and all the surfaces these are looking great so they should uh, take the glue very well um, they should also take paint down the road primer paint clear coat very well also so i'm excited about how these turned out